Hello everyone and welcome once again to Gloves Off. This is where we discuss some topics that will divide opinion. I'm Alexis Yunus and let me introduce you our two fighters, if we want to call them that today. On my left side, in the green-eyed corner, we have Ajit Agarkar. And on my right side, in the blue-eyed corner, we have James Faulkner. Gentlemen, are you ready? You feeling feisty? Very much. So we're right. not allowed to smile, are we? Just... You're not allowed to smile. <laughs> you can smile a little, but leave the smiling to me. Ready? Okay. Okay, so time for our first topic of the day now we've all heard the saying too many chefs in the kitchen not a good idea has that become a trend in t20 cricket are there just too many coaches so is the role of a coach at least in t20 leagues become a bit redundant so we're going to give you 30 seconds to give us your opening statement so we know exactly where you stand on this topic and in this first segment it's called first blood all right ajit let's start with you your 30 seconds begin now yeah, I don't think there's, there's a huge necessity to have about three or four coaches uh, in T20 cricket, especially in the leagues. Uh, you don't assemble the team till about a few days before the tournament. Uh, you don't really have too much time to work with the guys. There are There's a captain which has already been put in place, who's usually a very experienced and a senior guy. There are some really experienced internationals in the, in the squad. So I think at times uh, it is very, very overrated, uh, this coach's job in T20 cricket. I mean, sometimes you don't want too many heads in the dressing room. Boom, 30 seconds, done. James, time for your 30 seconds. They start now. Yeah, I think coaches are very important, not just in T20, but any format. I think uh, on the ground, I understand that the captain takes over and runs, runs the show. Um, but I think the development of younger players and for the younger generation coming through, they can learn so much um, behind the scenes, not just necessarily on match day. Um, so I think they play a massive role in not just the development, but the future, the future of the game. All right, there you go. He finished right before his 10 seconds and now, is where things are gonna get juicy. This one is called Trading Blows. All right, gentlemen, this is where the gloves do come off and you can go after each other. You can feel free to interrupt. Who wants to go first? Yeah, I go. I mean, you know, uh, Jimmy said that uh, it's important for the development of the young kids. To an extent, I understand that, but there's no real time to develop the young kids. Uh, a lot of the times uh, in, in these T20, T20 leagues. Yeah, in T20 leagues, mm. purely T20 leagues. Uh, like I said, most of the teams assemble two or three days before the tournament and you're always on the move and a lot of the times, most of the squad is left behind when the teams travel. You can't see where they can uh, have the time to really develop those guys in uh, six weeks' time. Uh, my biggest concern is what do the players do when they're left behind then? What are they, who's, who is coaching them? Are they just in the nets having throwdowns? How are they developing? Are they talking, are talking about different aspects of the game and certain scenarios that are playing out? How are they actually going to get better? Because at the end of the day, we want kids to get better at the game and at the format. Yeah, I mean, that's the, that's the other thing. I mean, most coaches travel with the first team. So you don't really have the best coach, if you like, who's part of the team to actually stay back with the younger guys. So you'd rather learn from your most senior guy or your best player in the team uh, than have someone uh, trying to change your game in, in a six-week so period the, the for, for who you may not see for the rest of so the So do you say the coach now is more of a, a mentor sort of role compared to actually the, the coach might ne not necessarily be teaching a batter skill-wise how to bowl a Yorker or how to hit a ball over the fence. It's more the communication of talking through the process of different matchups. Um, that are coming up Yeah, the I, I mean, I would prefer that. It's okay to have someone to manage the team. There's some, somebody got to hit your balls when you're fe uh, doing a fielding or you're training. But uh, yeah, that's, in my opinion, that's primarily the role of the coach, uh, at least in, uh, in T20 for sure. I think the captain does, again, even though on the field is more of his job, even off the field, you know, a lot of the decisions are made by most of the captains who've been in the job for a while. So. Well, I it's, a, a, it's a difficult uh, place to have too many coaches. I have a quote here from the great Raul Dravid and you know when he talks we do listen. He says sometimes the role of a coach is overrated and overstated. The responsibility should lie with the captain and the senior players as it is their team at the end of the day. Yeah I, I agree with that as well but also having um, played under Rahul as a he was a captain but also pretty much the coach. Which I sort of, that's why I sort of <laughs> agree with you as well. But, you do discover the young, the youth. So at Rajasthan, he had Sanju Sampson, then he went to he had Delhi, he had Pant. I think that the coach plays a massive role in identifying that young talent coming through the system. So would you rather just like player coaches then? Yeah, I mean, that, that'll be ideal. If you have someone like a Rahul Ravid or even a Shane Vaughan, he did it for Rajasthan as well. I mean, he had a couple of the guys, but he was the guy who was actually looking after the team. I, I think a lot of the younger players that we keep talking about will learn. Scouting, yeah, scouting is a different thing. I think you need people to look at games throughout the course of the year and maybe give the right advice. But as far as coaches are concerned, I think they do little to 
nothing in, during the course of the tournament. Well, the only thing on the flip side, you look at the most successful teams in the IPL, and one of them that stands out is Mumbai. They've won the tournament the most out of anyone three times. They've had up to eight coaches in their in their dugout. Um, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I think for the players coming up, growing growing up, coming through the ranks, you've got Sachin Tendulkar sitting there. Um, it's, but doesn't it's that pretty, make you even powerful. more nervous? Yeah, but that's that's the thing. I mean, I was with KKR a few years back, and John Buchanan was the coach, and we had a camp in South Africa, and there were about these seven or eight guys. He had got before the start of the tournament to help us. I, I mean, I okay, they, were, they, were, they tried their best, but I mean, I don't think you can learn much in those 15 days. You can you can take some something on board from different sort of cultures that you meet or different overseas players you meet. But uh, I mean, again, keep repeating myself. I mean, the coach does very little, in my, <laughs> <laughs> in my opinion. All right, well, let's move on now to our final segment, and this one is called the knockout take. All right, so this is knockout take. Just give me a one-liner, just to reinstate your point. Yeah, I don't think coach plays a big role in T20 cricket, uh, especially during the course of the tournament. I mean, if you, yeah, if you through the course of the year, if they, they sort of train with the younger kids or some of the guys may may make an impact but during the course of the tournament for me I think uh, you can easily do without a coach. James? Yeah I think there needs to be a coach. Uh, I think a lot depends on the abilities of the captain depending if they can be a player coach or not. Um, I don't agree that there needs to be six, seven, eight coaches in the change room because <laughs> it does drive you bonkers from time to time but um, definitely a couple of a couple of coaches that the senior players can go to and they need mentor. They need mentors as well, but more so the younger players that are coming through, so they can improve and they can speak to someone about what's actually happening throughout the game. All right, we'll leave it at that, gentlemen. There's no winner here because we just like to discuss a lot of topics, and you both are winners in my eyes. Thanks. Oh, all right. Well, thanks to these guys for battling it out, and thanks to you guys for watching. We'll see you again soon.